What's going on guys, Salon15 here, and today I'm bringing you a commentary on the map Slums, um, playing some 6v6 kill confirmed, and I have a pretty good game here, I go 56 and 3, and pretty much guys, um, in this gameplay I'm using a new setup that I'm using, a new gun gun and uh, class and kill tree setup that works beautifully for me, and I'm going to tell you guys what that is, um, what I'm using is a submachine gun of your choice, whichever you like, um, my personal preference is the PDW, and I'm using Ghost, I'm using Scavenger, Fast Hands, and I'm using, um, I believe, Dexterity. And the key thing to this class is the EMP grenades. You want to have two tactical EMP grenades with your Fast Hands and your Scavenger, and you want to throw these as constant as possible. Because when you throw these EMP grenades, most of the time on these small maps, you get a hit marker every single time you throw an EMP grenade because the EMP grenades are pretty OP in the game right now. The EMP grenades can hit an uh, opponent even if they're inside of a building. So if you know there's a whole bunch of people camping in one building, just throw an EMP grenade in there. And if your friends go in and clear them out, you get 50 points, guys. That's, uh, that's one kill and kill confirmed. You get 50 points. For throwing your EMP grenade, and it helps you get your scores very, very quickly. Now, as for my score streaks, this can be changed a little bit. But what I like to use is the lightning strike, the stealth, stealth helicopter, and the orbital VSAT. And the reason I like to use these are because they're nice and low. They're pretty fairly easy to get. Once you get one, um, the rest come fairly easily, and and then as soon as you get your orbital VSAT, pretty much if you get your orbital VSAT and you're a tactical player and you're nice and cautious and you don't just go running out, because even if you have orbital VSAT, there's still a chance you could got, uh, die, guys. It happens to me plenty of times. So as long as you can get that orbital VSAT and you can go on another streak, you can keep cycling through these score streaks. And that's the ticket to Black Ops 2, I honestly think. When it comes to getting high scores, or uh, using score streaks, you need to use score streaks that you can get over and over again, repeatedly cycling in one game. Now, on to the main topic of this video, and the main topic of the video is: Is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 dying out? Um, over the years, we have we had different Call of Duties, from Call of Duty 4 to now Black Ops 2, and um, when Modern Warfare 3 came out. People were complaining about it, uh, that it wasn't that fun, and uh, how the Death Streaks and Last Stand, or I don't know if it had Last Stand, but uh, it had Final Stand or whatever. But people were complaining about that. And I honestly didn't think that Modern for 3 would last on the YouTube scene for too long because of how kind of boring this was, but until the Moabs came and saved the game. Um, pretty much, Moab saved Modern for 3, guys. Because if there wasn't Moabs, people were posting Moab gameplays, the Modern Warfare 3 uh, Call of Duty community on YouTube would be pretty pretty terrible when that came out. And the thing with Black Ops 2 is that it has nothing. It has nothing for it. And it, it is kind of slow. Uh, it's fun to me. It's still my favorite Call of Duty game yet. But when it comes to YouTube and getting content for you guys, they took away Moabs, and I really think people enjoyed Moabs and seeing people get double, triple Moabs. I know that they have the Swarm, but the Swarm is is not as rewarding as the Moab, I think, because for the Moab you had to get 25 gun kills uh, with us without using kill streaks. And in this game, you can use kill streaks to get your swarms because the kill streaks now kind of they kind of stack on each other. You get less score per kill for the score streaks, but it's kind of stackable. But Black Ops 2 has nothing along those lines besides a nuclear title. And are people going to want to watch nuclear kill streaks over and over again? Um, and another thing about the, the Moab and Modern Warfare 3 and the nuke and Modern Warfare 2 is that they were really cool. They were really cool to look at, and it was really awesome when you when you finally got one. I can still remember my first uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, nuke. It was in favela and I was my hands were sweating when I was at uh, kill 24 and when I got 25 and got the nuke I was so happy and I was so excited but for this game getting nuclear is not as exciting for me especially now that the prestige hackers are out and everything and people have these nuclear titles that they actually didn't get it's not as rewarding um, what I would like to see is I would like to see Treyarch 
bring in some type of kill streak that's not game ending like the Moab that kills the entire team and you have to get a certain specification of kills to get this kill streak. Um well and guys that's my opinion on uh why I think Black Ops won't last on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think. Um be sure to like, uh comment and sub if you're not subbed already. Um this is Silent 15 and I'm gone.